this hot. It's a hot week. A lot of people are still going to try and go out and work out as early as possible. With that, of course, comes a heightened safety risk. There will be fewer people around just in case the worst happens. ABC 15's Katie Connor taking action to make sure you know what to do. Uh, Katie, you talked about uh, self-defense, an expert there about this. What should they do? First, you want to be aware of your surroundings, and if you do plan to hike early or maybe go for an early morning run, you want to make sure you have something with you like this Sharpie. You can actually use this to defend yourself. Now, it sounds kind of crazy. We thought so, too, at first, but we actually talked with self-defense expert Juwi Chu. He showed us how to actually use this Sharpie. Let's say you're running on the bridal path in Phoenix, and someone tries to grab your arm. Use the end of the Sharpie to apply pressure on the bone. That actually forces the attacker to let you go. A similar principle can actually be used also if someone tries to grab your neck. And let's say you're bigger and strong than I am and I can't pull your hand away, but I could take a Sharpie that could apply right here on the bone and I could come together here and apply pressure and turn. Wow. And that was only 5%. If I was scared, I guarantee you I'm going to apply 100%. Now, Chu teaches all of these principles in the free self-defense classes. It's actually through the city of Phoenix. There is one coming up in just a few weeks. We have all the information on our website. Just head to abc15.com. Reporting live in Phoenix, Katie Connor, ABC 15, Arizona.